fabulous works of art on display in downtown Spartanburg, but they're fake. Now this counterfeit creativity has a purpose and a good cause. 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli is live at the Spartanburg Art Museum ahead of a <laughs> fundraising auction. Good morning. Yes, I like how you said they're fake. I went, what? Oh, no. Well, the artists are really real, but yes, absolutely. They have been tasked, local artists here in the upstate region, with recreating or reinterpreting um, a piece of art that already exists, and they're incredible. I can't even tell you. Really, really impressive. Right here in downtown Spartanburg, the Spartanburg Art Museum. This is a place where you can come see art, local art, for free, and you should do so. But I think a great date night idea would be to come here and then plan ahead a week from today, the 22nd, Thursday, the 22nd, from 7 to 10, there's an auction where you can buy these wonderful works of art. I have Kara this morning, convinced her to wake up early. Thank you for that. <laughs> Appreciate it. I know it's early, so we'll take it easy. This is your work of art? It is. Based off of what? Uh, this is based off of Hannah Hawks, uh, The Eternal Feminine. Uh, Can you tell me a little bit about her art and how she creates things? Is it similar to what you did? Uh, yeah, she was a Dadaist artist who used mainly collage in her pieces. She would take pieces off of newspapers and magazines. And so I wanted to keep that piecemeal aspect of it, and I cut up paper uh, to create this, this piece here. You used some incredibly bright colors, mm -hmm. really interesting patterns. Um, did you want to communicate anything as an artist? Did you want people to notice anything in particular? Um, well, one thing that I really love about the cut paper technique is you have all these nooks and crannies oh, yeah. you can discover new textures in. Oh, and yeah. It was really interesting because all, this whole thing was a magazine um, that she had cut up uh, and rearranged the pieces of. So it was really interesting uh, trying to recreate those textures in watercolor and uh, ink. Kara Bender, really impressive. Oh, thank you. Do not miss her work and more. You can actually go see the exhibition right now. Go online at WSPA.com. We've got a link there. And don't forget to buy tickets. Also, the 22nd from 7 to 10. Fred, I think this would be a great date night idea. Photographer mm -hmm. Kevin says Papa's Breakfast Nook across the street. Oh, yeah. It's a great meal. Come on over. See some art afterwards. <laughs> you got the great evening right there and plenty of notice for people to get out there. We love yep. it. Thank you, Christine. 623 is the time.